Let's talk about the next breed, which would be the Doberman Pinschers. The special feature of that disease in Dobermans is the disease progression. So often, sometimes for several years long, um, these Dobermans have only ventricular premature contractions. And the owner again thinks, I have a happy, healthy dog. But in this phase, which we also call the occult phase of the disease, actually up to one third of the dogs drop dead suddenly. Later on, the typical classical DCM develops, where the heart has this poor systolic function, um, and that would be also the stage that is quite easily detected because the dogs show clinical signs, and it's also quite easy to detect that disease on echocardiography. We usually have three stages of the disease progression. Usually in the first stage, there is a genetic defect, and that causes some cellular changes, and currently we don't know exactly what cellular mechanisms are going on there. So we have a normal heart, we have a genetic defect, uh, but we can't diagnose that stage correctly at this time. The second stage would be the occult stage of the disease. So the owner thinks, I have a happy, healthy dog. However, if we look for the disease, we can detect it. There are just no clinical signs. And again, the third stage of the disease would be the clinical stage. There is an abnormal heart and the dogs actually will show clinical signs. And those dogs are usually then presented um, to the veterinarian when they have problems. So on this slide, we see the disease progression in Doberman pinches. And the typical age is on the left side of the screen. So at birth, there is a genetic defect. Between the age of two to five years, there are usually no visible changes on echocardiogram. However, the dogs will usually show VPCs. And some dogs, but only some dogs, will show the typical echocardiographic changes. If the disease progresses and the dog becomes older, the VPCs are getting more and more, so the arrhythmias are getting more severe. And you will also detect um, early echocardiographic changes. Then later on, the VPCs are getting um, more malignant and also moderate echocardiographic changes develop. Actually, in that phase, if a dog, for example, um, has some syncope, which means aborted sudden death, and we do not treat them, they will probably um, die suddenly within the next few weeks or month. So about one third of the dogs will die suddenly with that disease. If they are not dying from arrhythmias, the disease usually progresses to the dilated stage of the heart, where they have the typical classical DCM signs with a poor contractility. If they reach the stage with a poor contractility, again, some dogs will die suddenly and the other ones will develop congestive heart failure that we cannot manage after some time anymore. Doberman cardiomyopathy um, has a high prevalence in the US. There are several studies um, in, from Canada and from the US which show a prevalence of the disease in the US between 45 and 63 percent. According to one publication, it was suspected to be lower in Europe. Um, and the prevalence in different age groups was unknown. So we actually did a, a study um, that evaluated the overall prevalence of the disease and also in different age groups. And we also wanted to see are there special disease characteristics. So as you can see here, um, the prevalence, the percentage of dogs in each um, age class or age group um, is increasing the older the dogs get. So if you have very young dogs, the chance that you diagnose DCM in these dogs is very low. If you are going to um, less than six years, you will only detect like 12% of the dogs, for example, in that age group, four to six years. But if they are then um, older than six years, for example, um, you have 40 um, or 
um, older than eight years, over 44% in that disease group. That actually accumulates to an overall prevalence of the disease of 58%. So the key message here is it is difficult to diagnose the disease in young dogs and it is easier to diagnose it when the dogs are older. We can see here that there is a big difference between the disease progression in male dogs compared to female dogs. So in our study actually um, there was no predominance of any gender. So males get the disease as commonly as female dogs. However, male dogs will develop earlier detectable echocardiographic changes. So they will develop that poorly contracting heart. Whereas female dogs will only um, have VPCs up to an older age and then only later will develop um, the typical echocardiographic changes. This also explains why in earlier studies there was a male predominance suspected. It is just that the disease in male dogs is easier to diagnose because then they have these typical uh, echocardiographic changes. So to summary, the Doberman cardiomyopathy is um, male and e female dogs get um, the disease equally affected, but they have a different disease progression. Male dogs get the disease earlier with the classical DCM signs, whereas female dogs remain longer in the arrhythmogenic stage.